now we what is our requirement we are taking the first example of creating the subnet we want two subnets are required uh, to understand this for two subnets what we need we need to use one host bit as a subnet bit now remaining seven bit will be used as your host bit now there are two ways of subnetting uh, detailed and shortcut we will be first discussing the detailed method of that now to uh, let us first understand the uh, this uh, uh, diagram that means we have got total 32 bits are available and uh, we have divided it into four portion octets uh, we can call it at octal also uh, octlets also but octet is the uh, right term so here it is showing it the positional value of uh, each that means this is the bit numbering and this is showing you the positional value 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 that we have already discussed now when we are talking about uh, uh, that mean uh, we need uh, two subnets bits then how we have to do we have to use uh, this um, uh, one host bit as your subnet and we are going to denote uh, subnet bit as a s so n is going to our original networking bits in this because it is c class network and we are using going to subnet 192.168.11 so 24 are your network bits now how many networks we have uh, are going to use um, host bit as a subnet bit 1 so 24 plus 1 25 so we can write that our network is going to be uh, if you are going to donate in CID or notation it is going to be slash uh, 25 or if you have to write it in uh, your uh, uh, decimal format uh, because this is all one this is all one this is all one now what we have to do we have to use this uh, we are going to denote this uh, uh, subnet bit uh, as a 1 so how many uh, possible values are there 25 and if we are going to convert it into this uh, because the position value is 128 it will become 128 now the most important thing how we are going to calculate the subnets which subnets are available and what is the, uh, the possible valid host are on these subnets and what is the broadcast what is the network id this is very important how we are going to calculate now we know that we have we are going to use uh, one host bit as a subnet bit so how many possible values are there either it is going to be zero in binary or it is going to be one now we want to calculate uh, what will be the network id that mean now we can this is going to be fixed in this case it is going to be zero in this case in second subnet case it is going to be one now what we can change we can change this host values now what is the minimum value it is going to be zero 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 all the uh, seven bits will be zero now what the total will become if we are going to convert it into uh, your decimal because all zeros so if we are going to multiply by the position value result will be zero and what about the last uh, address so it is going to be all ones one 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 that means all the last seven bits are going to be one and because here it is fixed zero if we are going to uh, uh, convert it into decimal it is zero all our rest are one so 64 plus 32 plus uh, 16 if you are going to add it will become 127 so in first network the network id is going to be your 192.168.11.0 and what is going to be your broadcast address because last is your broadcast address it is going to be 192.168.11.127 now what are the valid host and we know that the first host is going to be your 00000001 and what is going to be the last host one value before that that means one 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 zero and because here this bit is fixed so if you are going to calculate zero and this is one so what will be the 
your first valid host it is going to be 192.168.11.1 and what about this last valid host uh, because this value is 1111110 and here it is zero fix if we are going to add 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 then it will become 126 that means the last uh, valid host in this uh, uh, subnet is going to be your 192.168.11.128 so the so that the range of valid host in first subnet is from 192.168.11.1 to your uh, 192.168.11.126 now what about these subnets now here the fixed value is going to be 1 now uh, we can change only host what is the minimum value 0 0 0 and what is the maximum value 1 1 1 so if we are going to combine this the fixed value plus these so because this is uh, 1 so 120 into 1 it is 1 that means second subnet is going to be your 192.168.11.128 and what about the last address broadcast address it is all 1 and here also it is fixed 1 that means all 8 values are 1 and if you are going to multiply this with position value that means if you are going to convert into decimal it will become 255 so in this subnet your broadcast address is going to be 192.168.11.255 now what are the uh, valid host range now this value is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. and what will be the last host one host before that broadcast address that means one 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 zero so if we are going to because this is one fix and if i am going to convert it it is that means one is here 128 plus one it is going to be 129 and because one is there and 128 plus 60 plus 4 plus 32 plus 16 8 plus 2 plus uh, uh, 8 plus 4 plus 2 it will become 254 that means in the second uh, subnet which is your 192.168.11.128 your valid hosts are going to be from 129 to 254 and last one address is going to be your uh, 255 so that is how we uh, create the subnets in um, uh, your uh, detailed way uh, is there uh, other way in which we put this uh, question that means two, uh, two subnets are required sometimes we do not say that two subnets are required uh, I can rephrase this uh, uh, requirement as that we required 100 host per subnets now if we need 100 host per subnets mean how many bits should be remaining that means how many host bit we have to use uh, because it is 100 host you cannot use six host bit because that will be maximum 64 and uh, if you are going to use seven host bits that means two power seven total 128 host possible that means if we want hundreds host per subnet that means we have to use seven bits as a your host bit so what will be the remaining bit one subnet bit so again we have to perform in this way so always we can rephrase the question you can say two subnet required or we can say that we need 100 hosts uh, per subnet so same way we can calculate so this is the so if we are talking about 100 hosts per network if we are going to take this network 192.168.11.0 what are the possible value from 1 to uh, 26 are the valid host so that means we can have 100 host uh, that means certain wastage still will be there because if this subnet will be having 1 to 20 126 we required 100 that is why we uh, when we were giving the subnetting uh, definition we said that you can reduce wastage but you cannot eliminate so we uh, reduce the wastage that is the way we are going to create the subnets uh, in the next video we will be looking at little bit shorter cut method how to calculate network id first host last host broadcast and what are the different network 
in each and every need. We will be looking at one shortcut method.